Hey y'all, it's me Deja. Because you can call me Dej. Um, I'm back again with another story time video. Now, I'm trying to hurry up and do this video before my boyfriend comes to get me because he's taking forever. So I was like, why don't I do a story time real quick just to put some content out and you know, get a little, be a little messy today. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, if y'all haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, y'all, if you're new, hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel and to my returning subscribers. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up? How you doing? Comment down below. Um... But yeah, let's get into this video. Whatever the title is going to be is what the story is going to be. What you guys are about to learn about me really, really quick is that I bumped into a lot of Dusties when I was in high school, okay? And I feel like that's what just made me the person that I am now today. And I'm more cautious and I'm more aware of the bullshit that be happening especially with other people and that's how i'm able to help a lot of other people so i was in the 11th grade i had to be about 16 17. probably should show y'all my fit i'll probably show y'all my fit at the end of this video but i gotta try and make this quick because i don't know what this boy doing so back to what i was saying i was in the 11th grade okay i was dating this boy and I may get a little bit detailed because I really don't care. I, I honestly do not care. Let me put on my little ring so I can let y'all know that I'm serious. I don't care. I'm not stunting this person. I'm not worrying about this person. This story time is solely about my experience with this person and the type of dudes, you know, because I have a list of the type of dudes that I've bumped into and they're all, they all have unique characteristics to them this one oh this one i got a couple of stories about this one and i don't care because like i said this is my experience this is my story time and i choose to talk about what i want to talk about because it involved me so i was in this very toxic relationship with this boy now we're gonna name him so brian right i met brian my wasn't my 11th grade year it was my 11th grade year high school and it was like beginning of the school year right i met brian i'm gonna give y'all a little backstory uh how i met him whatever i'm not gonna get too detailed but a little backstory how i met brian right so i had a class with one of his homeboys so we're gonna name him tyler right i had a class with tyler right I didn't know Tyler at all. I thought that Tyler was new because I never saw this person like during my ninth. Or, no, I saw, no, sorry. I saw this person. I, I used to see Tyler and Brian my 10th grade year of high school. By the time Brian was in a relationship with, drum roll please, because it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. Drum roll please. What did I name the girl from the last story time video of the one my friend, my my boyfriend took my friend? I don't remember what I, but I'll put it, I'll put the name somewhere so y'all could put like two and two together. So it was originally her boyfriend, but they didn't last for whatever the fuck reason. I don't care. I really don't care. That was her boyfriend. So I used to see Tyler, Brian and her around school whatever when they was dating and whatever whatever and then they ended so fast forward to 11th grade year right so i had this writing class and tyler was like uh i guess a little bit cool with my ex best friend because at the time i wasn't friends with my best friend like we were just not on talking terms i would see tyler me, me and tyler developed like a little friendship or whatever but like things was just like acquaintance level we wasn't friends as of yet so one day i don't know how tyler got my snapchat and i don't know how brian got my snapchat but they both ended up getting my snapchat but it was like over the summer type of thing right over the summer before 11th grade 
Charlie hit me up one day and was like, um, my dog want to like talk to you. Like he like you, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, like, who's your dog? Who's your friend? Send me a picture of him because it's so funny. I had a crush on Brian. I had a crush on him because like nobody knew him. Like apparently he went, um, to my school since ninth grade and I've never seen this dude. And apparently he said that he was a dust ball or whatever like he didn't glow up yet so nobody paid attention to him or whatever whatever i don't know maybe everybody started noticing him because he he had joined a, a team i'm not gonna say what team and that i'm talking about is really narcissistic don't look up at my window nigga narcissistic loves clout loves drama pretty much and i want to say drama drama but like he just likes when stuff is involving him so i don't want it like i don't got time i don't got time like it's like i'm too old like drama don't like drama don't excite me no more so he was on this team right and i guess that's when he started getting more like notoriety like he just become recognizable people just started paying attention to him or whatever because at the time to me like i was attracted to him i thought that he was attractive but it, Ugh. anyways so i was like oh like i wonder if it's brian blah 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 because i had hit up my, one of my friends well i had a group of friends and i we had a group chat and then i told them everything would happen so they was like oh girl what if it is brian what if it is brian so i was like i don't know girl but i asked um tyler to send a picture so i'm waiting for him to send a picture boom tyler sent a picture and what do you know it was brian in my heart trial i was like brian got a crush on me Brian thinks that I'm cute. He want to get with Deja. Boy, if you don't like, okay, okay, like I think I um you know hit the jackpot or whatever. So I was hype, like I was so hyped because it's like, it. What are the odds, like, of you having a crush on somebody and then you feel like you know? Cause I was one of those underdogs. Like I was an underdog in high school. Like I was low key. A lot of people knew me. I knew a lot of people, but. I wasn't friends with them like i wasn't really going out my way to talk to people people just knew me as like oh like you know the pretty girl who has a different style or whatever i wasn't dressing like everybody else every other girl in school like i had my own unique style i was like oh he got a crush on me i said so i think i had told him so like i was like so why is your homeboy going to you to talk to me why couldn't your homeboy talk to me straight up like that's just giving me meow vibes like sounding get is it's giving me very much a C without the P <laughs> if y'all catch my drift. It was like you know I'll give him your number like no no I'll tell him to talk to you. So I was like alright I'm gonna be waiting for his text because I'm not moving forth if he's too scared to talk to me. Like I'm not about to date this boy. I'm not about to pay him no mind if he's not gonna talk to me himself. Like I don't appreciate that. Why is you scared? Next, you know, Brian start hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. He talking to me, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, dang, like, why you had to go to Tyler to talk to me? Like, what, what's the matter? So he over here trying to, like, I guess, spit game or whatever. I don't remember what this dude said to me, but we ended up exchanging numbers. Yeah, yeah, we started talking, blah, blah, blah. How we ended up dating. One day, he was trying to kiss me, and I was like... Like, me and you not boyfriend and girlfriend, why are you trying to kiss me? And he was like, oh, so I gotta actually be my girlfriend in order for me to get a kiss from you? So I was like, yeah, like, I don't be handing out kisses for free. Like, what's up? That was red flag number freak. No, that's red flag number two, honestly. Red flag number one was, of course, he had to go through his friend to talk to me. Ew. Red flag number two was, you over here trying to make moves on me and we're not even dating. You never even asked me out and red flag number three was like this whole movie um situ movie theater date situation that we had got going on because i ended up having to pay for his ticket and our food so that's red flag number three but my dumb self still went with the flow i went with the flow i should have been cutting him off but i didn't because i was focused on the looks and not this person's character 
please girls if you're in high school middle school whatever honestly you shouldn't be dating in middle school that's too young you should be focused on like you're about to go to the next step to high school okay so i'm preparing y'all from now i'm your guys teacher i'm your big sister if you need anything i'm there never pay attention to somebody's looks you have to look at everything not only just looks but you have to look at their characteristics their personalities their moods how they act on certain situations when things get tough how do they act how do they handle the situation do they just give up do they break down do they are they explosive in um attitude what is it because if you're not liking if you could count on your hand how many things that you don't like about this person or even two hands on how many how much things that you don't like about this person you wish they could change that person is not for you you shouldn't waste your time you should move on somebody else is waiting in line for you who are the main three red flags about this person i ignored all three of them i was damn near in a relationship with this person for a whole year in high school that's like pretty much of a big of a deal because it's like in high school if you make last a year with somebody it's like a big deal because everybody's immature at that time everybody you know we're all in one building pretty much like we're all on one campus we're bumping into different crowds of people different types of atmospheres you're surrounded of different types of boys and girls so you're gonna have temptations all around you because there's always gonna be somebody that's gonna look better there's always gonna be somebody who's gonna smell better there's always gonna be somebody who has a better personality more money whatever more abilities more advantages there's somebody's gonna have somebody more than what you have because if you really like that person for real for real then those things shouldn't matter but anyways let's get to what we're really talking about now i got that backstory out the way and you guys have a better outlook and what type of person this person was um i may do a separate story time of like the whole movie theater thing because that was a whole nother thing i ended up getting in trouble that day and it was embarrassing fast forward towards the end of the school year right summertime is around the corner one day i had i was in my chemistry class right so i had this homegirl we're gonna name her we're gonna name her kaylee okay so kaylee no okay so it's three friends so i have kaylee i have uh ivy and <laughs> ivy's gonna figure out who she is because it's the letter of her first name like letter i delilah okay they gonna figure out who is who all right so as soon as i walked into my chemistry class i went and sat down i'm saying hello to everybody because i'm pretty much cool with everybody in that class everybody's you know cool vibing whatever it's my favorite class of the day because my favorite teacher i, I sat down i'm all happy i'm like <laughs> kaylee walks in kaylee was like girl she was like because she called me her diary so she was like diary so i said so immediately when she said diary in a certain way she was like diary i was like oh shit and i automatically just had a feeling like it was about my boyfriend like it was about brian i said oh shit What's, what happened so she's like girl i got something to tell you i said what she was like your boyfriend is cheating on you i said i didn't even say you're lying i said what happened i was like what happened now peep how i said what happened now because there's been multiple situations with this person i said what happened she was like girl i have all the tea let me give you the tea blah 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 she's giving me all the tea so apparently this f dude was at a away game mind you this person was a bench warmer i don't give a, i'm throwing the whole tree at this person like i this person i i at this point i don't care because he was a bench warmer he wasn't playing no fucking games and he was he was using one of his damn i guess injuries as an excuse as to why he couldn't play but the injury happened like a whole like it, i guess it was like a whole year almost a whole year like the injury had happened 
and I'm not the only one who has said this before because even his own homeboy was like he got the potential he just being lazy I guess they made him manager of the team I've never heard no crap like that before on no freaking sports team before being a freaking manager and that's why they gotta always be on at, at all, all the games and away games and all that stuff so they was at an away game at a different school okay this school was pretty far from our school or it probably was yeah it was it was it was some distance it's a distance she tells me how dude was being kissed on by some girl that went to that school and i'm just like yo like what where's the correlation like how you bump into this girl like how in the hell you go to somebody else's school and you got a, a, another shawty like kissing up on you like that don't make no sense so shoot what the icing on the cake was that my friend had the video this bitch had the audacity to put the shit on Snapchat. Not not my friend, but the girl that was kissing up on my boyfriend had the audacity to like put the shit on Snapchat. I don't think it was on his Snapchat. No, I don't remember how it went. No, it wasn't on his Snapchat. Only thing that he posted on his Snapchat that he was at an away game. Excuse me. The only reason why my um friend knew about this video and saw this video because the other friend, right? What did I name her? Delilah. Delilah was friends with the girl that went to that school that was kissing up on the boy, right? She was like, yeah, girl, like, she's my home girl. And I had to let her know, like, dude is taken. Like, he got a girlfriend um, at our school. Like, he got a girlfriend and he over here acting like he's single. Um, Ivy chimed in and she was like, Deja, you don't deserve that. Blah, blah, blah. You are too pretty for all of that why is he always treating you like you're nothing like you don't deserve that at all you don't do nothing you haven't even cheated on him you didn't even do nothing all you did was be loyal like i just don't like that and ivy's the type of person where whenever she see fuck shit happening and especially when it's happening towards a girl and a guy's involved she don't play that like she's quick to tell you like leave that dude leave him like he's not worth it so they're all like trying to cheer me up trying to help me so um, Delilah ended up getting the girl on the phone. We all in class with it. We all were in class with it talking to the girl, blah, 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 on the phone. And Delilah, Delilah gonna step. Delilah was like, yeah, girl, like, he didn't tell you he had a, she, uh, he had a girlfriend. Like, he got a whole girlfriend. They've been together for damn near a year, blah, blah, blah. They've been in a relationship for a long time. And he around here having people think that they're not together blah 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 so the girl was really cool, chill she was real cool she was like i am so sorry like he he said that he was in a relationship but it was complicated and blah 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 he was flirting with me he was like yeah i don't play that like i i guess like she would she wanted um cause i guess the girl had a cousin at that school and i think she wanted the boy to get jumped because she felt played and another girl was played so she was like i got played you got played and that's not right and it, it needs to come to an end and she was like yeah i'm not messing with him no more after this because that's embarrassing like i just kissed a dude that had a girlfriend this whole time but side note though how are you kissing a dude that you just met how are you kissing a dude that you just met like that don't make no sense like then like the dude not that good looking for you to just he's not drop dead gorgeous for you to just just risk it all like i don't know like that just just had me questioning i don't remember too much what happened after that but that was that with that situation i was so fed up and i was so mad because like this dude played me yet again he played me again like mind y'all this is not the first time this dude played me and i still decided to stay with him and after that whole situation i still stayed with the dusty like i was such a dummy like please you guys don't be like me girl guy whatever you identify as do not be in a just a immature situation like that was really immature and my self-esteem was low too so i feel like that's the reason why i ended up staying with this person because like with this person a lot of girls wanted him a lot of girls had a crush on him and like you know i just had that thrill like yeah like i'm with somebody that a lot of girls 
want it which in turn caused a lot of girls to not like me because i was with this person and because of that person they was also stringing on them same girls flirting with them allowing them to flirt allowing them to flirt with him and he just all nonchalant about everything i'm just i'm just fed up i'm like i'm about to box this boy i'm about to slap the sh dog ish out of him i'm fed up i'm over it's done like i'm gonna embarrass him because at the time he had this girl best friend and let me tell you first of all let me tell you about these girlfriend's friends if you was a best friend with this girl before you even met the person that you're dating that best friend is not a best friend that is somebody who secretly likes you on the low wants you on the low but they're gonna stay in the best friend position just to be cautious have a story time on top of story time on top of story time as to my reasoning as to why i said that and why it's very valid because like this best friend proved my point as to why i don't trust these best friends um kaylee was like um do you want me to come with you like i'll come with you because she went after our next period because it was like our last period of the day i go upstairs and then she goes downstairs and she's like you know diary like i can't follow you all the way over there because you know i don't want to be late to my class but i will walk you you know halfway there you know just to make sure everything's fine because the crazy part about it my timing was accurate i knew exactly what time brian was gonna be upstairs what time he was gonna leave where he what direction he's gonna go where his class was all of that so as soon as the bell rang me and diary darted out the class we headed straight upstairs and what do you know brian's right there with his girl best friend right and i went straight up to him like all i saw was red like i didn't see nobody else like i didn't see nobody else in the hallway I just saw red and i just saw him and i just saw the best friend but i was focused on him i went straight up to him and then i was like what the like okay so here's patrick this is me so mind you this person is tall so i had to reach up so i was like <laughs> i was like what the <laughs> do you think this is blah 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 you always like you always blah, blah, like i'm just going off i'm like blah, 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 blah. i'm just going off like how how dare you you stay embarrassing me how you gonna sit up here and cheat on me again you around here kissing other girls like what do you think this is do you take me for a fool meanwhile his best friend was like and she walked away she walked the fuck she left her best friend for dead left that boy for dead I was just going off on him in the hallway and then he was trying to like hold me still like calm down calm down blah 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 and i was like no like f that like why why should i calm down over like your mess you keep doing stuff over and over and i don't do nothing to you like it nothing warrants for you to cheat on me like i was just really fighting for this relationship like a goofy I was so upset. I was real upset. I was just real upset. I was really upset, y'all. And I still stayed in that relationship with this person. Y'all, when I say I was stupid, stupid. Like, if stupid was a person, it would be the 11th grade me. Um, that's, that's it for the video. Like, I still ended up... I'm staying with that person even me doing all of that in the hallways even if just imagine like comment down below like how would you feel what would you do like would you break up with that person right away would you stay with them like does it depends you know how would you feel if you were in my situation has it ever happened to you before if it did comment down below I would love to hear your story and please y'all do not be afraid to comment down below because I'd be feeling like a lot of y'all are afraid to comment down below don't be because i will respond i'll always respond i will give you feedback you know the best of my ability and yeah y'all um if you enjoyed this video please give this give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already 
and turn on my post notifications on so every time i post you'll be notified that i posted onto youtube or uploaded onto youtube um but yeah y'all that's it for this messy video my boyfriend still did not come we supposed to what time it is it's about to be one o'clock we got a movie to catch i'm all cute and everything oh and i did say i want to show y'all my outfit i'll be right back okay y'all excuse my room my room is a mess but this is what i'm wearing today okay i don't got no butt y'all so it's nothing to see there what y'all think i like it um i don't know what bag should i pair with it I, like I said, I'm going to the movies, so I am going to be carrying this big old freaking coach bag that I have <laughs> to store all the snacks because any other bag that I have is not big enough. So, I don't know. This bag is like too dressy, but we sneaking in some food in the movie theater. <laughs>